So, I bought a Kaiser today. Let's, there's one in this box. I've had it sitting here for quite some time. Let's get it out of here. It says it's a Dolman. Um, that's all it says about it. So, okay, here we go. M690 blade, black stone wash, micarta, and steel liners. Okay. Well, let's see what's up. I have a mini Dolman. And so, I'm pretty sure that I found this on sale. And I said, you know what? I need to get that big Dolman. Ooh, that's a heavy knife. And it it is pretty big. Look at that. Okay. It, it doesn't really remind me of my mini Dolman at all. Which, I'm not a big comparison guy, but this is a like a, a big little. And so, I guess they're exactly the same. Looking at them, sort of. Yeah, there's some kind of little difference there. This is a little different. But this is a mini Dolman. And, man, I really, really like this knife. I have carried this little little dude a bunch. I really like it. It's got great action. Uh, come on. Woo. Made me work for that one. But basically drop shut. That thing just flows, man. Really like it. But so here's the big one. The pocket clip's pretty basic. Okay. Let's see what's in there. Yeah. Look at that. I do like that blade shape. I like the overall shape of the knife. And I guess there's where the real comparison is right there. Get the same thing. Yeah. But I don't want to make it about this. And I don't want a super long video. So, But I'm going to leave his little brother up there. And clearly. Ooh, look at that action. Tiny little bit of lock stick there. But man, once that thing lets go, drop shut. Very nice. Yeah, that little lock stick going on there. Just a little bit. Spidey flick can be done. I mean, but I gotta be honest. I'm really a thumb flick guy. I really am. I've talked about that before. But it's got both. Definitely it's got some lock stick. And when that lock stick lets go, that blade wants to it wants to spring. Yeah. You know, sometimes I find that the answer for lockstick is to is to really smack that blade good. Mm, it didn't solve it in this case, did it? I mean, it's better. It's a little smoother. It's not quite as stuck. But, yeah, pretty cool. Well, let's get in here. Let's get it taken apart. We'll check it in, check it out. We'll go back over that action. There's no lock. There may be a little Loctite on that. Not much if there is. And T6s. No worries. There we go. Uh, the micarta. What did I think of the micarta? I guess I didn't think much of it because I didn't say nothing. But it's grippy. It's not really cottony or fluffy. But it's grippy and soft. Yeah, very much so. Okay. And it said steel liners. Definitely has these nice steel liners, which gives the knife some girth. I mean, it's, you know, it's weighty. Look at the bearings. Those are, that's a big roller bearing. That's a good one. Not a roller bearing, but uh, cage bearings. Those are good ones. This side's polished. I guess that side's kind of polished. Yeah. Nice. Well, that don't need to come off. There's no oil on the bearings or the knife anywhere. There's no lubrication in here. I don't see a sign of grease or um, oil on anything. So the crazy thing is... That thing already had drop shut action. And so, what's it going to be now? I think it did have grease on it because I see something on the towel here. And that is a lot shinier now that I've wiped it. Let's see if we get the same result here. Yeah, not quite. 
but maybe it had some grease. Uh, some of the, some of these guys like to put a little dab of grease instead of oil. Yeah, easy cleanup though. It's a lot easier than the whole knife being smeared in oil, for sure. I mean, these definitely have br brightened up. Look at the difference in that one to that one. Really brightened that up. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm kind of anticipating an improvement. Enough so that I think I'll notice it. All right, we're clean. Let's put it back together. Get here, get that capture. There's an oddity. So normally that D captured, that D captured pin is facing in on the knife. This one's facing up. I know it's a stupid thing, but it's definitely an oddity. It's so rare. And I really like the way that this uh, pivot pin just fits flush like that. It's almost like a brass rivet, sort of the way they did it. I like it. It's cool. Different. You know, normally that's highlighted and it's got collars and, you know, spacers and all kinds of stuff going on there. And there they went with a, a simpler deal. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, internal stop pins. Pretty nice. You can see where the... Uh, detent ball is riding on this stone wash cutting a path and I'm gonna put since I got this in my hand I'm gonna put just a little a little dab on that that detent ball since it's riding on there and cutting its way through yeah even this side the uh, the screw for the uh, pivot screw here is flat and subtle yeah pretty cool oh i think i got some serious play going on there i think i'll finish putting the knife together before i worry about it though let's get these back screws in and get everything snugged up the pocket clip seemed to have a lot of tension on it. Be interesting to see how that runs as well. But this this is kind of appearing to be, I don't know, like a beater knife. Maybe you take it to the to the river, <laughs> you know, or something. I don't know. You know, it's kind of appearing that way. Uh, something's out of whack here. All right, something is definitely out of whack. The blade is not allowing the, the bar to go across, so we're out of alignment somehow. I can't say how, but I'm sure it has something to do with the way that this has closed down on there. Interesting. Sometimes you run into an oddity, and this is one of those times. On the surface of it, I'm not sure that I can think about what's causing that. But now it's gone. So, it just wasn't lined up properly. Weird. Alright, let me get the right tension on this. Solid. Very solid. I wonder if I should back that off a little. I can't back it off too much because there's just barely making contact. You see that knife try to jump out and bite me? That blade? That lock stick. I mean, the thing is gravity driven down to the earth now. Wow, is that nice. Boop. Yeah, very nice. I'm going to check it for play. It's running so good. I just want to make sure that I've got good lockup, and I do. Um, I might have to deal with that stick at some point. Because 
because it's pretty sticky. I'd rather just work it, have it work itself out, than try to remove material or sand it or polish that. Um, I'd much rather just have it work itself out. But if needed, I'll go there. So let's talk about ergonomics. The action on this thing is it's just wonderful. You can see it. Thing drops, shuts. I mean, it runs every bit as good as its little brother. 100% it does. Um, uh, let's talk about ergonomics here. So, this, there's no jimping on the back here. So, there's not, there's no perch for the thumb. Uh, there's a perch there, but it, there's no grip. And so, it's all going to happen right here. There's no jimping up in here. Uh, there's nothing really to pinch down and hold it. Um, but that's a, that's a, I'm not going to say it's a very confident grip, but it's leaning towards confident. Like that feels good. Like I could maintain that grip. There's enough, the, the thinness of it allows me to really get a nice handle on it. And there's enough of a swoop here that I think I'm locked in behind there pretty good. So I'm not going to say very confident, but you know, I think, you know, if, if this is confident, this is not so, and this is very, I, you know, it's, it's on the front side of confident for sure. Not bad at all. Um, and there's, there's a little choke up spot if you wanted to get down on that work. Uh, let's check that pocket clip. I think the pocket clip is going to be interesting because it has a ton of tension on it. You know, trying to dig my finger under it, kind of is not having it. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can get that thick material. <sighs> Come on, man. Like, if I manipulate it, I think I can get it to go. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of tension, and so it's bunched up the farther back it goes. It's not digging this thick material at all. It's not liking it. Uh, so I'm going to say, yeah, I mean, like even like I really forced that in there. And so I'm going to say for like, if you're thick bib overhauls or thick canvas, like Carhartt, you know, bibs or something, if you're wearing that for work, this knife ain't going to make that, uh, that pocket clip's not having any of that, but standard jean size material. Let's see what's up. So it gets over it super easy and it runs right to where it's supposed to not a super deep carry pocket clip it's got a reveal on the top maybe a half an inch that's showing on the top there but it runs perfectly there on this outside corner of the back pocket on the right sides where i carry a knife i mean i'm confident that if i stuck it in there it would be there if i needed to go looking for it it's right where it would be so yeah i i'm not going to fail it for this thick material because how many of us actually use that kind of material and put our knife in there not many and and if you do you should be aware of that when you're trying to select a knife to carry because not a lot of pocket clips i or let me say this i run into a lot that i pick up knives that i want and ultimately they don't run on that material so it just is what it is um let's check the sharpness All right, I got a little tear there, so I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to go at that tear. Here we go. Ooh, it's got a good uh, toothy bite to it. And it's definitely sharp. It's, it's hair shaving sharp, no question. It's getting through this phone book paper just fine. But it's got, it's noisy. So it's a toothy edge for sure. Uh, if I stropped it up, would it be better? Probably, but it's definitely sharp. I wonder what his little brother is. Considering I've carried this knife and it's got a semi-polish on it, that means that I've sharpened it. So I wonder how it's doing. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit different edge on this one. 
and maybe I'll get his big brother up, you know, we'll see, but <coughs> it's plenty sharp. It's, uh, it's got that 690, N690 steel, um, what other badging? It's got the Dolman right on the blade. Yeah, nice micarta. So what's left is price and availability. So there are some of these on Mojave Outdoors. And there are some of these, the minis, on White Mountain Knives. Um... I didn't find any of these on either of those sites, but I did find a couple of versions of the regular Dolman on Amazon. And so they're right or between 50 and $60 with the N690, the Micarta, there's some G10 versions and some other versions. So it's, it's up there in my opinion for the N690, the Micarta, um, it's on the, just on the high end of a budget knife for me with these steel liners and, you know, the micarta and the N690. I, I mean, to me, this knife should be around $50. So I think if you look, you can find them on sale. And I think the reason they're hard to find is because they were on sale in the forties. So I think, I think a lot of people bought them up, including myself. So it's what encouraged me to get one, I believe, was just the price was right. And so, you know, it's like, hey, I'm going to add it to its little brother. But I did see some on Amazon, and I'll try to put a link below. But by the time you see this, I don't know if the link will be any good. So you might check Amazon. Um, but anyways, appreciate you watching.